So I heard about a place, um, a class that was held at the YMCA. My dad told me, he said, Eric, try the YMCA. I thought, Dad, I mean, there's not going to be anything at the YMCA. I mean, that's like kid stuff. So I went to the YMCA one night, and I walked into a class that's known as Burmese Bondo, or Bondo Boxing. And it's from Burma. They had a great influx of the influence from the Chinese above and from the Okinawans and the Japanese. So it was like there was a mesh of these uh, Oriental ideas when it came to combative arts. Um, they believed very heavily in full contact. They did boxing, they did empty hand, and they did animal styles. Although they were different animals than what I was used to with the Kung Fu, it was, it was similar. It was very easy to adapt. I trained with them for, uh, for five years before I made black belt in that style. And during that time, we went to a, a national kickboxing tournament. It was probably the biggest event that I'd ever been to personally. There were hundreds of people there. And I remember I was a nervous wreck you know, because I'd never fought in front of that many people and they've got spotlights on you and, and it's just, you know, it was really nerve wracking. But then when you get out there and I remember stepping into the ring um, and I was looking around at all these people that were around me and they've got a car girl walking around, you know, in a bathing suit holding up a number and, and I'm thinking, is this real? And, you know, there was butterflies in my stomach, you know, how am I going to do? You know, all these people are watching. And then the other guy, my opponent, climbed in the ring on the other side. And when I looked at him and our eyes met, everything else was gone. It was like, I didn't see anybody anymore. I didn't hear anything. The crowd was gone. All that mattered was the battle that was in front of me. And when I look back at that, at that fight, it really changed me. And when I came back, I mean, there was a, a newspaper write up about uh, me and the other team members from our, from our martial arts studio um, that had made you know the grade that had had achieved and pride was built a little bit more. After five years of hard training in the Burmese style of Bondo, I achieved black belt and my instructors encouraged me to begin teaching the art to others. But there was something missing, something of which I had not attained. And shortly thereafter, I decided to return to my first school, for I wanted to test my skills now in the place where I had begun. But little did I realize the spirit that was influencing my decision, nor the darkness into which this path I was on now led.